find the current in the 12 ohm resistor in figure draw the figure 6 ohm resistance and another 6 ohm resistance connected in parallel and the parallel circuit is connected into the 3 ohm resistance in series this is the upper part of the circuit and consider the lower part of the circuit 4 ohm resistance and 12 ohm resistance connected into the parallel this is the 12 ohm resistance both are in connected into the parallel the parallel circuit connected into the 2 ohm resistance in series upper and lower circuits are connected into the parallel to each other both are connected into the parallel and the parallel circuit connected into the 3 ohm resistance in series this is the 3 ohm resistance in series the circuit connected into the 18 volts battery the circuit connected into the 18 volts battery this is the 18 volts let us take the current through the circuit is i and consider the points this is the point a and this is the point b and this is the point c at at the circuit bc both are connected into the parallel to each other so in the parallel circuit the current through the circuit is varies so the current through the lower part is the i1 and the current through the upper part is the i2 and the 4 ohms and 12 ohms resistance are connected into the parallel so in the parallel circuit the current is varies so this is the i12 and this is the i11 first of all calculated the 6 ohms and another 6 ohms are connected into the parallel so the equivalent resistance in the parallel circuit is let us take rp1 the reciprocal of the equivalent resistance in the parallel circuit is equal to the sum of the reciprocal of the individual resistance so 1 by rp1 is equal to sum of the individual resistance so 1 by 6 ohms plus 1 by 6 ohms so, rp1 is equal to 3 ohms resistance and consider the 4 ohm resistance and 12 ohm resistance both are connected into the parallel the equivalent resistance is rp2 1 by rp2 is equal to sum of the reciprocal of the individual resistance so 1 by 4 ohms plus 1 by 12 ohms rp2 is equal to 3 ohms this is the equivalent resistance in the parallel circuit let us draw the modified figure this is the 3 ohms resistance and this is the rp1 the value of the rp1 is connected into the series this is the rp1 this is the 3 ohms resistance and the lower part of the circuit this is the rp2 this is the rp2 the value of the rp2 is the 3 ohms and this connected into the 2 ohms resistance in series this is the 2 ohms resistance both are in connected into the parallel both are in parallel the parallel circuit is connected into the 3 ohm resistance in series this is the 3 ohms resistance and the circuit is connected into the 18 volts battery 18 volts battery the current through the circuit is the i this is the point a point b point c this is the i1 this is the i2 
थ्री वम रेसीस्टेंस एंड एनदर थ्री वम रेसीस्टेंस कनेक्टेड इन टू द सीरीज सो द ईक्वल एंड रेसीस्टेंस इन द सीरीज सर्क्यूट इज आर एस टू आर एस वन लेट एस टेक द ईक्वल एंड रेसीस्टेंस इन सीरीज सर्क्यूट इन द अपर पार्ट इज द आर एस वन आर एस वन इज इक्वल सम ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल रेसीस्टेंस सो थ्री वोम्स प्लस थ्री वोम्स आर एस वन इज इक्वल सिक्स वोम्स and the lower part of the series circuit three ohms and two ohms are connected into the series so the equivalent resistance is the r s2 r s2 is equal to sum of the individual resistance so three ohms plus two ohms r s2 is equal to five ohms this is the equivalent resistance in the lower part of the series circuit and modified the figure this is the figure first of all r s1 this is the r s1 this is the r s1 the value of the r s1 is a 6 ohms this is the r s1 and connected into the lower part is the this is the r s2 the value of the r s2 is the 5 ohms both are connected into the parallel to each other and connect to the 3 ohm resistance in series this is the 3 ohm resistance in series and connect to the battery this is the 18 volts the current through the circuit is the i and this is the point a this is the point b this is the point c the current through the downward is the i1 the current through the upward is the i2 first of all the resistance rs1 and rs2 both are connected into the parallel so the equivalent resistance is rp so the reciprocal of the equivalent resistance is 1 by rp is equal to sum of the individual resistance so 1 by 6 ohms plus 1 by 5 ohms rp is equal to 2.727 ohms this is the equivalent resistance in the parallel circuit and draw the modified figure this is the figure this is a 3 ohms and the 3 ohms resistance connected into the rp in series this is the rp and connected into the battery 18 volts this is the 18 volts battery current through the circuit is the i and this is the i the value is 2.727 ohms and this is the point a this is the point b and this is the point c let us consider the total our equivalent resistance in the circuit is r equal is equal to both are in series so sum of the individual resistance 3 ohms plus 2.727 ohms r equal is equal to 5.727 ohms this is the equal resistance in the circuit the current through the circuit i is equal to v by r equal because according to the ohms law v is equal to i r i is equal to v by r i is equal to the value of the v is the 18 volts all by equivalent resistance is the 5.727 ohms the current through the circuit i is equal to 3.14 amperes so this is the current through the circuit so 3 ohms and 2.727 ohms are both are in connected into the series so the current through the any resistance is the same so the potential difference at the 2.727 ohm resistance is vp that is the 
VP or the potential difference between the points BC is VP is equal to the current through the circuit IE into the resistance at that point is the RP. So, VP is equal to 3.14 amperes into RP is the 2.727 ohms. The total potential difference at the point bits between the BC is VP is equal to 8.57 volts. This is the potential difference in the parallel circuit between the points BC. So, in the parallel circuit at any resistance the potential difference is the same. So, the current through the RS2 that means 5 ohms is I1 I1 is equal to Vp by the potential difference at that resistance by the value of the resistance R S2. So, I1 is equal to 8.57 volt volt by 5 ohms. This gives to the current through the I1. This is I1. I1 is equal to 1.71 amperes. This is the current through the RS2 circuit that means 5 volts that means RS2. So, the current through the I1 is equal to 1.71. So, the potential difference at the 3 ohm resistance that means RP2 is Vp2 because the current through the circuit is the same because R P2 and 2 ohms resistance are connected into the series in the series circuit the current is the same. So, V P2 is equal to I1 into the resistance at the circuit is R P2. So, V P2 is equal to I1 is the 1.71 amperes into Rp2 is the 3 ohms. So, Vp2 is equal to 5.14 volts. This is the potential difference at the Rp2 that means 3 ohm resistance that means parallel circuit in the lower part of the circuit. So, this is the potential difference in the parallel circuit the potential difference at any resistance is the same. So, the current through the 12 ohms resistance is I12. The current through the 12 ohm resistance is I12. I12 is equal to potential difference in the circuit. The potential difference at the 12 ohm resistance is the Vp2 because both are in the parallel to the circuit. So, at any parallel circuit the potential difference is the same. So, Vp2 whole by the resistance at the circuit that is the R12. So, I12 is equal to Vp2 is the 5.14 volts whole by the resistance is the 12 ohms. So, the current in the 12 ohm resistance I12 is equal to 0 0.43 amperes. This is the current through the 12 ohm resistance. 